And yet again, uh, recovery-wise, he can also one of the few characters that Hydro Pump will be effective against. You know, can kind of just like push Ganondorf away from the ledge and not just let him recover. Alright, here we go. And like I said, they're opening up with that shuriken and yet again, those fast speeds are gonna be able to get Muhammad like off center. That's a down tilt to four tilt. And yet again. But just like that, 20% off of one move. Like, oh no. Yet again, that's why I was saying like the Hydro Pump is gonna be super effective in this matchup just because you no know, Ganondorf is gonna be really slow on his recovery speed, and if he goes for the side B or the up B, like, he could potentially die off the B. There's a bear, and yet again, catches him slipping with that side B, and you know what, it's one of those things where, like, you don't expect side B to come out, like, that far, that quick, but yet again, it's strong, too, so you just gotta be super careful about getting caught by that. And yet again, watching out for that side B, you know, running away from the ledge immediately, knowing that, like, like, Incineroar does this a lot, too, where they'll jump from ledge to side B because it's command grab, and so if you sit at the ledge and shield, like, it can kind of beat that out. Tries to go for the up tilt, but you know what? He's not going to be able to find it. And yet again, the side B trading with the down B right there uh, gets hit with the Hydro Pump. You know, not going to be able to go off stage with it, so it doesn't really get the door. And again, catches the down the... the the, the jump from ledge, and you know what? When you don't check it, you get a free down tilt. Oh, wow. That, that forward smash, you know, it's one of those things with Kandor where, like, you see it come out, and your your heart, like, skips a beat. Oh, so he catches the roll with the up smash, and yet again, like, it, Ganondorf is, like, one of those characters where, like, he'll nair at the ledge, to make you like not want to either uh, jump or 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 neutral get up, and then when you want to roll, they'll go in and mix it up with the up smash. Just like that, you know, Bahamut has been really cleaning up this second stock really well. No tech, and yet again, he figured he might attack this time and try going for the reverse down smash, but you know what, Dreams slipping up, not realizing that the down B had that much range on it, but you know what? Makes the revenge stock back, and now we're at an even, even game. Last stock. Here you go. There's one fair, and yet again, just catching him with that down tilt. And you know, that down tilt, such a good move for Greninja. It just opens up all of his combo trees right there. You know, try spacing out that down tilt, but you know, it gets caught with an air. And Bahamu is just doing a really good job. And you know what? He, he saw him approaching with the. The down B and like, oh, okay, I want to throw out a projectile before he reaches me, but unfortunately he was not facing the right direction. Catches him with the side B and the he air dodge. Here's the double jump and yet again. Oh my god, not gonna be quite enough to get there in time for the hydro pumper to camp. And there's the side B to down tilt. Alright. There's one there. Not gonna fall for that forward smash, and yet again gets caught by that side B again. You know, I I like what he did. Like, you couldn't really see the shadow because he went up. Uh, he started it, like below the stage, so like it went below the stage for the shadow, and then he like jumped up and that and caught the uh, Bahamut off guard right there. Yet again, you know, another one of those. If he doesn't tech it, he might be dead for the next time. And I like what he did there. Gets the counter, and yet again that will be game one to dreams right there. And again, oh, both players did really, really spectacular. I feel like Dream really needs to work on his teching, especially that, that side B. Like, if you don't know how to how to tech that move, like, you are going to be eating a lot, a lot of unnecessary damage. Like, there, it's one thing to, like, tech it, and then the Ganondorf reads that, and, like, they catch you anyways. But, like, if you don't tech it, that's a free punish, like, for, for Ganondorf. One. Go! Yet again, opening off with that fair. Catches the jump with the back air, and you know, he's on the platform, but you know what? That's the interesting thing about this matchup is though, Greninja can rack up a lot of damage really quickly, but there's like like two, three hit combos that do like maybe like 20, 30%. Ganorf hits you once and you're already eating 20. And yet again, like one fair, he ate like 20, 20 something percent, like 22 percent. Catches the upbeat with his own. Yet again. 
Lord Bahamut seems to have taken a commanding lead, and you know, Dream kind of needs to like sit back and let uh, Bahamut come to him. Ooh, tries catching that with an up B or a side B. And yet again, Bahamut really sharking for those roll reads right there. You know, the up B hitting below the ledge, and yet again, catches uh, Dream's off guard. I feel like a lot of Dream's is uh, like battle style against the matchup is just unfamiliarity with the range and speed of uh, Ganondorf's moves yet again. Like, he's just throwing out Nair all the time right there. And you, you, you know, you just, you just can't jump or you can't normal get up. Oh, catches it with the down smash. There's a the Nair, and you know what? Really, I feel like Dreams at this point, he's kind of shook. Like, he's definitely not playing with the same amount of confidence as he did game one. Oh, but catches the, the, the forward tilt. Unfortunately, he got sent the wrong way. So, but there we go. That should be death. And yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Using the Hydro Pump to kind of just mess with uh, Ganondorf's recovery. I love that. Using the Dare to kind of like hover yourself in the air for that fraction of a second before you go down to catch the forward smash. There's an air off stage. Oh my god, Bahamut is just going for all these crazy reads. I mean, when you're a stock up, I think you, you can kind of afford to do it, but like, yet again, I would not be surprised if Dreams could just, you know, sneak in a kill underneath from Lord Bahamut's nose. There we go, there's the up kill. And yet again, not, no sweet spot on the up smash, so. Oh my god, he thought he would cross him up. Unfortunately, he's going to get crossed up himself and going to get punished for that. And there's the jab, and yet again, Bahamut takes game two. So, so many close game three sets in this Thursday Night Fights. Oh my god. Yet again, I feel like Lord Bahamut really caught on to a lot of uh, Dream's habits and you know, was able to just pressure him when uh, Dream was in a disadvantaged state. I feel like Dream's kind of just just trying to treat this like any other character, but like with Ganondorf, especially if you're a fast character, you want to kind of, you want to either stay in one or two ranges. You either want to stay right in his face. So with like Greninja, I would imagine like using a lot of your, your down tilts, your your fares to kind of like space them out, using your landing there and the up tilt, you know? And Dream's opting to go for Sheik, you know? Yet again, like I said, like if you want to be in one or two places, be up close. And you know, Sheik is one of the best characters at doing that, just smothering her opponents with all of her aerials. And then again, if something hits shield, no problem. I'll just run away and kind of just avoid any punish you can have. Oh, you want to do something out shield? Let me just nair out to safety. You know, it may not do a whole lot of damage, but it'll rack up over time. And yet again, it's like the saying is, you know, if you don't want to lose, just don't get hit. And if you're like, with Sheik, you know, you really have to embody that playstyle, especially when you're playing against a heavy hitter like Ganondorf. Ooh, the up it was really, really, really bad. Oh my god, like, yet again, like, I, I, I feel like he expected Bahamut to come in close, and that Nair killed yet again. Like, if you're Sheik, you're light, so you gotta understand that pretty much a lot of moves will kill you super early, and Wow, Bahamut, you're really feeling yourself with that up tilt. But catches the tech read, and yet going for another one. And yet again, I feel like he read the third one, and you know what, Dreams is just kind of, just doesn't know what to do with himself at this point. And again, gets the punish on the side D. Trying to get a kill, but you know what, Dreams just cannot find this option. Oh, reads the, the air dodge, and you know what, catches, the, the down B, you know, he's like, okay, I'm gonna down B, throw out a hitbox, but you know what, that has end lag on it. And you know what, else has a lot of end lag, whatever move you threw out, so I'm gonna fair you for it. Oh, there is the down air, but I'm not gonna be able to combo off of it because he uh, landed on the opposite side of where Dreams ended up. Bahamu just doing a really good job at ledge, except when he goes for, I, as I start complimenting you, Bahamut, on your ledge play, you go for the up tilt, like, up tilt has not worked out for you once, my friend. Ooh, I expected the up air to go for the, the punish off of that, potentially get a stage spike. 
here we go. There's an air. Not going to be able to find anything off of it. Yet again, I feel like there's so many of these combos that Dreams have been getting with the the, the forward air and just hasn't gone, been going for the, the bouncing fetch. But you know what? Catches the no tech with the up B. And, you know, 91%. I mean, that's a lot. That's kill percent for Sheik. But you know what? If she can just kind of just avoid Ganon's range like that, you know, just stay out of that, that close, like, mid-range and go for the long range and wait for him to throw out that side B, throw down that down B. And you know what? That doesn't matter when Ganondorf just two frames you like that. All right. And that'll be a 2-1 for Lord Bahamut. 